All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to do some function literals with receiver inside of Kotlin. What this allows you to do is make some really cool DSLs and also use infix functions to be able to do some nice language and also build DSLs on top of DSLs, which is pretty sweet. So this first line here, this is actually creating a function literal. So it's saying for an integer, I wanna pass in another integer and have this function call uh, equal this int plus. And so what that looks like is this gives us a function back where we can call invoke, which would just call the lambda here, and we pass in one and then one. So what this does is it adds one to one. This is the more longhand version. This works, it calls a lambda. This is built into any, any lambda call that is in, in Kotlin. But if we wanted to do this a little bit nicer, we could do int plus, and this does the same thing. We don't have to invoke it, but the really sweet part is whenever you can do two and then int plus three. The way you get this is because it is defined on an integer. So you do int dot and then whatever the function is. And so you can append this functionality to create your DSLs. So let's say, you know, you have some language where you're converting things to binary or you're adding strings a certain way, then you can build this DSL so that all of your domain logic is built into your code base, which is really nice for a ubiquitous language and getting more and more of that. If you want to go even further, you can do this infix syntax here, and that's defined using this function down here, where again, we're doing a function literal with receiver. And so we define this function on the integer and we're extending it. So we pass in a value and then we do whatever this is because the context of this is the integer that we're calling it on. So in our example up here, what we're calling the function on which is Adam is two. So it's two dot Adam three, but we can do because of the infect syntax and we don't need to add any more dots or parentheses and it reads really nice. So building up your DSL using infix functions is really cool. The last example I wanna talk about here is adding that extension to your own custom classes. So we've defined a nested class here at the bottom. We're defining a function literal with receiver on that. So we pass in a lambda, which is this operation, which is called on the nested, and then it just returns unit. So we're calling whatever is in this lambda that's being passed in. We do a this.apply, whatever the operation is, and what we get up here at the top, we create the new class, we call nested, and then it'll print hello. So you can compound this, you can actually build from you know the Kotlin examples, you can build a HTML builder that builds all the HTML with strings and everything. Uh, it's a really cool example if you haven't checked it out, but hopefully this gives you some, some nice tools in your tool bag for function literals with receiver. Thanks for watching.